Jerry Harris, who rose to fame on the Netflix docuseries Cheer, was sentenced on Wednesday to 12 years in federal prison on charges related to child pornography. The sentence is three years less than prosecutors hoped for. They originally wanted him to get a 15-year sentence. According to NBC News, his 12-year prison sentence will be followed by eight years of court-supervised release. The sentencing comes nearly five months after the Netflix star pleaded guilty to two charges of receiving child pornography and engaging in interstate travel for the purpose of engaging in illicit sexual act with a minor under the age of 15. The Netflix personality was arrested back in September 2020 on charges of production of child pornography after an FBI investigation. The 22-year-old was indicted on seven counts of receiving and attempting to receive child pornography and of persuading minors to engage in sexual contact from August 2017 to August 2020. The former cheerleader originally pleaded not guilty to all the charges but changed his plea in February. When season two of Cheer came out in January, fans got to see how the nationally ranked cheerleading squad found out about Jerry's arrest. His former coach, Monica Aldama, later told Access Hollywood's Mario Lopez and Kit Hoover how she found out about the charges. You get the news that one of your favorite students, Jerry, is under investigation by the FBI. What was going through your mind? Wow, that was a very, very tough situation for me. Monica was competing on Dancing with the Stars in the fall of 2020 when she first heard about the accusations against Harris, a beloved member of the team. Harris pleaded not guilty to multiple felony charges. Monica writes about it in her book, Full Out. I was on stage getting ready to do the full dress rehearsal, and the executive producer came up and asked me if I'd seen the headlines, and I said, no, and she showed it to me, and it just, you know, it took my breath away. Will we see his saga play out this season on Cheer? Yes, so um, they definitely address the situation in season two. One of the show's breakout stars is facing a 15-year sentence. I can't even, like, process it right now.